Welcome to Sedona, where the spirit of the earth touches the sky. My name is Diana and I am an interior design and architectural photographer and today I'm going to show you Sedona through my lens. The reason for my trip is a photo shoot of the Ambiente Hotel located among the majestic red rocks. Ambiente is designed with a deep respect for its natural surroundings, offering a great experience of tranquility and beauty. I am here with the Art House team and our first stop is the hotel's restaurant where the challenge of capturing its essence was as big as the natural light floods through the big windows and causes a lot of glare on the floor. The art of photography often lies in overcoming obstacles like removing the reflections that daylight casts on the ground and appliances ensuring the true beauty of the space is showcased. Then we stepped outside. The serene snow-covered patio was the next space to be photographed. It was a beautiful winter day and the weather was with us. Inside the collaboration with our house brought to life interiors that speak volumes of luxury and comfort with furniture that complements the stunning views of Sedona's red rocks. Captured in moody lighting, the dark decor set the stage for photography that's as captivating as the landscape it resides in. We took a short break before we came back to capture the sunset exterior of one of the rooms. Okay, so we're getting ready to shoot sunset here at the Ambiente Hotel. I am photographing this bungalow. There's many bungalows, but we picked this one with my client and now we're just waiting for sunset. We're picking a vertical composition and we're getting a little bit of the tree on the left side. Sunset is at 5.35, so it's supposed to happen any moment. We have the lights turned on inside and we're also getting a portion of the other bungalows down the street. So I am very excited. I think this is going to be such a beautiful shot. This morning it was snowing and now we have the perfect clean blue sky. So we are right at sunset. Um, the sun had actually set a few minutes ago and now we're getting this beautiful glow of the interior which the goal today is to capture the furniture which is provided by our house inside the bungalows. I think it is looking pretty amazing. The blue hue on the sky, the tree that we have peeking on the left side, it is just so magical. So I'm gonna spend 10 more minutes here because I'm expecting to get even better view of the interior. I'm just gonna keep bracketing taking multiple exposure then we're gonna do an interior shot Good morning, everyone. I am still in Sedona. I woke up at 6 a.m. and I did some sunrise photography in one of the units in the Ambiente Hotel. So now I'm drinking my green sencha tea and I'm kind of making plans for the day. I'm gonna stop by and get a quick breakfast. So stay with me. It's gonna be such a scenic drive, especially in the morning when the sun hits the beautiful rocks. I just can't wait. After wrapping up at Ambiente, I took a few days off to explore Sedona's famous vortex sites, Airport Mesa, Cathedral Rock, Boynton Canyon, and at the last day, I went all the way up to the Grand Canyon. Each place has its own vibe. Airport Mesa gives you these epic views all around and it's probably the easiest hike. It takes only 15 minutes to get there and I definitely recommend going during sunset because the views are absolutely amazing. I took my Insta360 camera because I was alone and I didn't want to ask anybody to take pictures of me. Why not if I could do it myself? <laughs> I am driving to one of the vortexes that is located very close to my hotel and I'm taking two days off uh, just so that I can take all this beautiful energy in and enjoy the beautiful nature here. I was reading and watching videos about the vortexes and I'm actually super excited because they say that this place is full of healing energy, energy that enhances your meditation practice and I am so much into that. And at the reception at my hotel, I was asking where is 
the closest vortex and they actually told me that it's just one mile away and it's one of the most famous one it's called i believe airport vortex and actually a friend of mine recommended to go to this one so it is very close let's check it out I also brought my the 360 camera with me. I'm excited to take some videos and some pictures. The parking is really full. The parking is really small. Maybe I should have left the car in my hotel. They actually offered me a shuttle, but I said, no, I'm gonna drive now. <laughs> There is no parking. Actually, the Vista parking is pretty far and walking down to the main entrance would be not a very convenient hike because there is no sidewalk here on the main road. Look at this view though. How spectacular. Wow. My GPS is freaking out. <laughs> I'm proceeding to the route, but there is no parking. Oh, this is where all the people gather to look at the scenic view. Parking permit required, it's $3 per day. So let's see how that's gonna work out. So I parked my car at the main parking over there and the lady at the parking told me that I'm coming a bit too late because it's already 5 o'clock, sunset is at 5.30. By the time I reach the beginning of the trail, it's gonna be almost dark. Not dark, but like almost there. <laughs> Sunset is gonna happen in 30 minutes. So I think I have like 30 minutes walk. And I'm walking on this road here. Oh, there's a door. So anyways, she advised to come over in the morning, park here, walk down to the main pathway, enjoy, and don't rush because now I'm gonna be rushing. She asked me if I have headlights. I have no headlights and I'm alone. Hopefully there's gonna be more people, but I honestly, don't see any people here. It's only me. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm adventurous. So I remember that time when I was hiking in Bulgaria with my mom, not even with hiking shoes. I was with some shoes that were just not suitable for hiking with jeans and with some kind of a sweater. We decided to hike one of the highest peaks in Bulgaria around noon. And we ended up going all the way to the top and it was an amazing experience. But on the way down, after taking so many pictures at the top, totally not thinking about the time, we ended up hiking down at complete black pitch black darkness so we got lost because there was no proper labeling of the trails and it was kind of scary look at the beautiful view so pretty there's snow i actually love that there is a snow because i miss the winter in florida don't get to see snow at all only when i travel it's very refreshing there's so many helicopters i guess these are tourists that are doing their tours so this was actually not a very long hike. It took me about 15 minutes to come down from the parking lot to this area that shows this spectacular view to the Red Rocks. Cathedral Rock is my favorite hike of all. It is quite difficult hike to the very top. You will need good hiking shoes, not like my city boots. I was actually not very prepared for this hike because I wasn't planning on going on a long hike that day. I just went out for a short walk and I actually don't regret it, although it was very difficult with this outfit. <laughs> the view from the very top is absolutely incredible. It is believed that this is where the actual vortex is. If you're wondering what a vortex Texas, it is supposed to be the spot where the Earth's energy is super concentrated. Some say it helps with healing or feeling more inspired. I just felt really, really good being there. The third vortex was Boynton Canyon. It's like stepping into another world of peace and ancient whispers. It is about four hour hike. At the beginning of this hike, the weather was warm and sunny, but as I kept walking on the other side of the mountain, the shady areas were covered with snow and at some point it got really chilly. Chile. I climbed to the very top where stunning views unfolded. The area is also steeped in the rich heritage of the Native American people, particularly the Yavapai and the Apache who have held this land as sacred for centuries. In the last day, I drove to the Grand Canyon and hiked down until I got tired. My desire is to camp at the bottom of the canyon one day. There were a lot of people that I met on the trail coming up with their backpacks and camping equipment and actually I asked them if they camped. 
at the bottom and they mentioned that they stayed the night and it was very beautiful. It is much warmer than the windy cold top of the canyon in March but if you decide to camp all the way at the bottom of the canyon you need to start hiking early morning around 6 a.m or maybe 7 a.m because it's gonna take you maybe the full day to get there unless you're a very experienced climber. And before we wrap up I definitely need to tell you about this adorable bungalow that I rented on Airbnb. It was tucked away off the grid right between Sedona and Cottonwood. The place was super cute and cozy with everything that you need but there was a little twist. There was no Wi-Fi or network reception. At first I was like how am I gonna work? But you know what? It turned out to be the best thing ever. A real unplugged experience that let me connect with nature and honestly with myself a lot more. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The bathroom and the restroom were in a separate building, which is actually a three minute walk. And it's not that much fun, especially in the evenings if you need to go. In the cold weather, the temperatures were freezing. So you basically have to get dressed to go to the bathroom at night. One of the coolest parts, the wildlife around there, I even saw a skunk for the first time ever and there was this creek nearby that was just so beautiful to walk to despite the chilly bathroom tracks it was such a peaceful spot to stay i definitely recommend it you can see information about this airbnb in the caption fast forward a couple of months and i am back to sedona for another photo shoot and this time the gig was in a stunning house located in flagstaff absolutely gorgeous home so just arrived at this beautiful home that we're photographing today with our house in Flagstaff and I'm super surprised obviously that it's snowing because I wasn't expecting that in Phoenix was woo a bunch of snow just fell on my head how beautiful is this oh my gosh it's a winter wonderland it's coming off the trees I don't think it's really snowing but it's coming off the trees and the wind is blowing in so I'm super surprised to say that there's a snow here because when I looked up the weather forecast it looked like it's gonna be sunny and it was about 65 degrees or something and then as soon as I approached Flagstaff it started snowing unbelievable and it's so pretty and I'm so happy actually because I don't get to see snow too often so this is the house behind me that we're gonna work on today Here's where things got a little bit wild though. Checking the weather in Phoenix before I left showed a comfortable 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit but as I headed towards Phoenix the temperature plunged to a freezing 32 degrees and I drove straight into a snowstorm. So I am on the road driving from Flagstaff to Scottsdale as we were having lunch with my client and enjoying a beautiful time eating a delicious ramen soup we decided to leave and drive to Scottsdale because this is where our photo shoot is going to be tomorrow. This is the weather conditions that I'm driving in right now. It is absolutely unbelievable to me how is it possible to hit this heavy winter storm. There is no cars around me at the moment. Uh, there's nobody behind me, there's nobody in front of me. It seems like I am the only person on the road, which is also crazy and it feels a little bit scary. And I'm honestly not having fun anymore because the other problem is not that it's snowing so much, but my car is not suitable for this winter drive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to stop right now. So this is a downhill. So apparently the tires are not winter tires. Oh, this is, this is serious. My car is really sledding a lot. Whew. Guys, I'm driving with like 10 miles an hour at the moment. I have never experienced this before. If I knew that this is going to be the weather, I would have at least have asked for a better car. I mean, this is, this is actually not the car, it's the tires. I think, I don't think that these are winter tires. I don't honestly know how I'm going to reach Scottsdale. I don't think I can drive here. Oh, oh no. Check brakes equipment. Half a mile. 
Oh my god. Who would have thought that it's gonna be so snowy just two hours away from Scottsdale and it was 65 degrees and sunny. It was like a summer day. Then all of a sudden I end up in this heavy winter storm. Yeah, I'm driving with 14 miles an hour and I can't really drive faster than this. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm alone. There's no other drivers. Where is everyone? And also the other thing is it's getting dark. My car was rocking Florida plates and I'm pretty sure those were summer tires. Not exactly ideal for snow. It felt like skating on ice rather than driving on the road. Despite the crazy drive, the photo shoot itself was amazing. The highlight was seeing a whole herd of deer feeding right outside the master bathroom window. I've never seen anything like it. So many deer, so close. Heading back to Phoenix, the snow didn't let up. In fact, it got heavier. What's normally a two hour drive took me double that time. So after four hour drive, I was so exhausted. The roads were super icy and just when the snow started to ease off, a barrage of hail came down on my windshield. It was dark, no other cars in sight, just me and the storm. Adventures like these, they're a reminder of how unpredictable and thrilling life can be. Driving through that storm, witnessing the beauty of the nature up close with the deer and pulling off that amazing photo shoot despite the challenges, it's all part of the journey. Thanks for coming along on this wild ride with me. I've included some information about all the vortex places I visited, the Airbnb and some good restaurants in Sedona below. Every trip, every shoot brings its own set of adventures and stories and I can't wait to see what's next stay safe stay curious if you like my videos please click subscribe and like and i will see you on the next one